So all the seats are all the way back and uh, watch what happens when I start folding the rear seat. So this is one of the seats and on here it's a button that is hidden. I uh, hope you can see it. Uh, when you press it, uh, the, the seats in the front actually move forward. So press it and press it one more time. You see that those seats are moving forward in relation to that seat, right? And then you have to push pretty hard for it to go down. And that locks. So again with this one, with this seat, same thing. There's a button on this side, which is uh, hidden. You can't really even feel it. Uh, when you're feeling for it, but uh, it's there. Uh, you push it once, the headrest goes down, and then you push it one more time, and you'll see that uh, the other seat moves forward. You can see that seat moving, and once it finished moving, you can push this down. So that's the the cargo space. Um, and how it works. I don't know why Tesla didn't make this automatic because they could have with a button that actually does the raising and lowering of it instead um, they made a manual process and now to get it back up again you have to go around because there's no way of getting it getting access uh, from the back right it's too far away I'm leaning towards it and that's as far, as far as I can get so have to come this way have to move this forward and then you have to get in here press the button and then lift and then push and for that one, you can either climb in or, or, or uh, go to the other side. I prefer to climb in, sit down, press, the, find the button by, by feeling, and then pull it up. And then push that up. So, I don't know, again, my gripe is that it's not automatic. I know there are cars that have um, the automatic fold for the, the third row and uh, Tesla didn't do it for this one. So there are two cup holders here, They're right in the middle. Um, and the USB charger. This is the strongest USB charger they have. It runs on, runs at uh, two amps. If you saw one of my uh, other videos regarding the USB, you'll know that it's two amps. Again, the struggle to get out. And there you have it, that's the third row. Again, uh, uh, if you don't want it to go all the way back, if someone is sitting there with a booster seat, uh, their legs are going to get pinched. Unless they, they get, um, uh, if the booster seat is held in with the seatbelt, that's, that's when that comes in handy, when the seatbelt is the, the, the detection process. So let me uh, show you that. I'll bring... So I'm going to do only one seatbelt, which is this one. And I will show you again the difference. So there you go. With the seatbelt, it will not go all the way back. As you can see uh, from this, you can see that this is the most furthest out. 
and that is the still has room to come out right the middle one and then the last one is all the way in so you can tell that this is the furthest out because I can show you by trying to move it forward it doesn't go anywhere and uh, you can actually move it back but you may be crushing whoever is sitting behind you so when uh, it detects a occupant in the back it does uh, go to the most forward position so it goes back and then it locks uh, and this is the most forward position that you can have so after it comes back and it detects uh, basically you're at the most forward position I've seen people say that you can use the back button to move it forward even more but uh, that's not true because once you use that um, to move it forward just 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 a millimeter after it's it's gone back to the most forward position it will say that it's unhinged the seat is unhinged so that's not safe at all so once you move it back and it detects somebody there you should never use this button to move it forward so if you use the button and hold it down to move it forward slightly what's going to happen is it's going to become unhinged i'll just show you because um yeah uh, I'll, I'll i'll use the seat belt because i don't want it to move all the way forward so seat belt is on i move this up just a smidgen okay you saw that just a little bit that's it that's all i did i touched it a little bit just a little now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you inside the car what happens when i put it into drive keep in mind this is a continuous loop no buttons no one's touched anything so this is what's gonna happen uh, when I go oops and close all and right now you see uh, the car is on right cars on and now when I put it into drive let's see what happens you can probably see the P here right so put into drive okay it's not complaining hold on a second what the heck it's not complaining that it's unhinged So I touched it just a little before. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch it one more time. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna see if, if it's unhinged now. So now you can see this and if I put it into drive, there it goes. It says it's unlatched. So, uh, two taps, basically, if it moves more than a centimeter, you can tap it once to get maybe like a little bit of a movement. Uh, what I could do is I can try to measure it. <laughs> it's probably insignificant. It's barely noticeable. So now you're driving with the seat unlatched, so that's not good. So... Anyway, hope you uh, thought that this video is uh, interesting and informative. And please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.